Hi, I'm Dr. Robert Roundtree. My patients call me Dr. Bob, and I've been in uh, clinical practice for over 33 years now. I want to talk to you about a phenomenal new product called Niacel. The technical term for this is a long word, nicotinamide riboside. What it is, is a, a chemical variation on the standard B vitamin, niacin. But that simple variation, adding a sugar called ribose to niacin, makes all the difference. There are now a number of studies in the medical journals that have shown that nicotinamide riboside increases something in our bodies called NAD. Now, NAD is a key element to the functioning of mitochondria, which are the energy producing organelles inside of our cells. We all need mitochondria to function. We all need it for energy. As we age, NAD levels drop. And so the race has been on among senior scientists around the world trying to figure out ways to increase NAD. Well, nicotinamide riboside, niacel, is really a breakthrough because it's the first compound that's been shown to raise NAD levels when taken by mouth. Other compounds, other chemicals have been shown to do that, but they require injections. They have to be given, you know, in, in fairly large quantities. This is something that we know that works. Why would you care if it raises NAD? Because if our mitochondria work better, we have more energy. We burn fat more effectively. Our brains work better. So we actually can think more clearly. And there seems to be uh, a, a relationship between mitochondrial function and a number of different diseases, like Alzheimer's disease, for example. So there is good reason to believe that restoring NAD levels to their proper amount in the body may help with a number of chronic diseases. We've had reports that people have started taking Niacel and within two days have noticed a significant increase in their stamina. Uh, for example, I have a very good friend who's a, who's a serious mountain biker and he started taking the Niacel before he would go do climbs on his bike and immediately noticed a jump in stamina. We've had this kind of report from, from athletes uh, all over the country really.